Now to start this problem we've got to draw a sketch and I've started it with the sketch of the beam AB. It's six meters long and it rests on these two supports at C and D, one meter in from the end. So that's going to leave us with four meters between C and D. Now we next need to mark on some forces and we're told that the beam AB is uniform and its weight is 200 newtons so in the middle here I'd want to mark in the weight so we'll just have that coming down here and we'll mark that in then as 200 newtons. Now it's resting on these supports C and D and we're told that when Tom and Sophie stand on this beam that the reaction at C is say R, let's just put that in there, we've got to call it something so I'm just going to call it the reaction uh, R Newtons but we're told that at D it's three times more than what it is at C so therefore we've got a reaction up here which is going to be different from this but three times it, three R, three R Newtons then. Now we've got to place Tom and Sophie on this beam and we don't know where they uh, are standing that's the object of the question find out how far Tom is from B so let's just say that Tom is say standing say round about here say okay now his weight is 500 newtons so we'll mark that in 500 newtons and we'll say that the distance that Tom is from B is we'll call it x okay x meters there you go so that's that distance from there to about there we ought to mark in that this is Tom we'll give it T for Tom now Sophie who's the same weight stands exactly well twice the distance that Tom is from B so in other words if we were to put Sophie say about here just bring that down there her weight remember is exactly the same as Tom so that's 500 newtons there and the distance in here is also x meters there you go we'll just put the arrow up there this time and we better label that as S for Sophie so that's my diagram now we've got to find out what x is the distance that Tom is from B and to do this what I'd want to do is do it in two parts we've got to find out what R is first of all so that we can use it in a moment's equation so I'm going to get R by considering resolving, resolving vertically it doesn't matter whether I go up or down I'm going to go up though purely because the R would then be in the positive sense. Now because this beam is in equilibrium there will be no resultant force up or down. So we can say that this R plus 3R minus the 200 minus this 500 and this 500 gives us the resultant force acting in the vertical sense then on this beam AB and we know that that resultant force is zero so from this we can see that therefore 4R and if we add together the 200, 500, 500 that will be 1200 or minus 1200 add it to both sides you're going to get 4R equals 1200 divide both sides by 4 and then you end up with R equals 300 300 newtons then so now that I've got what R is I can now think about taking moments and to take moments I can take moments about any point that I like but I feel that the best place to take moments in this problem you can experiment it'd be a good exercise to experiment taking it about other points but I'm going to take it about the point B why because if I take it about B I'll get 
x coming directly into the equation. So what we'll do is we'll come down here and we'll take moments about b. So I'm going to have m for moments signify that I'm going to take moments about b. Now I need to set up a positive sense and again it doesn't matter whether I have clockwise round b or anti-clockwise around B. But I'm going to go for anti-clockwise around B. You can again experiment with whatever you want, okay? But anti-clockwise is going to be positive. So when it comes to looking at these forces, how they turn the object about B, then the 500 Newtons would want to turn in that direction anti-clockwise about B. So would this 500 Newtons, the 200 Newtons would. So these would be positive moments. But the 3R and the R, well they want to, when you're pushing up, they want to turn it in a clockwise sense about B. Alright, so they want to turn it that way around. So the moments produced by these will be in the opposite sense to the positive, so they'll be negative. I'll take you through the problem now anyway, the, or the equation. Let's start off then with this 500 Newtons. Remember moment is force times perpendicular distance to the point that we're taking moments about, this point B. So we've got the 500 multiplied by x, the distance it is to be. So that would be in the positive sense, so that would be 500 multiplied by x, or just simply 500x. Now we take this 500, it's positive again in the positive sense, round b, so that would be plus, and it would be 500, this time multiplied by this distance to be 2x. So I'll put that in brackets and just write 2x there. Now we've got the 200 Newtons, again positive moment about B. It'll be 200 times this distance back there. Well that's going to be a total then 200 times, and this acted in the middle of the B maybe, so it must be 200 times 3 metres. So we've got plus 200 times 3. Now let's take the R here. This acts in a clockwise sense, which is the opposite to the positive sense here, so it'll be negative, and we've got R times this distance back to B, which is 5 metres in all. Remember, we're 1 metre from this end, so it must be 5 metres that way, so it is R times 5, or 5R. And now we've got this one here, the 3R, it'll be 3R times the 1 again being negative though, so that would be minus 3R multiplied by 1. And all of this must be equal to zero. There's no total turning effect. It's in equilibrium. Now it's a shame that I've got to put the equal zero there because uh, I'm just running out of room, but hopefully you get the idea. And if we tidy this up, what have we got? We've got 500x here and 1000x, so we've got therefore 1500x. And then we've got minus, I'm oh, sorry, plus 600, so we've got plus 600. And here we've got minus 5r, minus 3r, so that's the total of minus 8r. So if I rearrange this by adding 8R to both sides and subtracting 600, we get 1500X equals 8R minus 600. Now we know what R is, it's 300. So we've got 1500X equals 8 times the 300, so that's going to be 2400, and take away that 600 is going to be 1,800. So to get x, divide both sides by 1,500. And if you work this out, 
comes nicely to x equaling 1.2 1.2 meters in this case so we could summarize and just say therefore Tom is 1.2 meters whoops 1.2 meters from B all right